I think it was a unique opportunity for us to bring everybody together under one roof for, for a quick meeting face to face because I had a lot of those requests. We've had some uh, phone calls and some inquiries and so we hopefully put some of this to bed today to let people know what's going on and the government is going to be open. Um, I'm very confident in our plans. The state has a, has a, a great plan that, that's constantly, just, just like us, when we review plans, we're, we're, we're updating, uh, revising, we're wanting to be current, uh, effective. Your workers, it's important that we take care of them. You know, what are we going to do um, if they're not there? You know, what, so we need, to, we need to do everything we can to, to ensure that at the workplace, we're doing everything to ensure their safety, um, for, for them to report to work. Do what they do for you and provide services to, to your respective areas of the county. We are making sure that not only are we, as we always do, follow DHEC guidelines, but we're making sure that we do some extra cleaning as well. Uh, we are preparing extra uh, frozen meals so that if we have a situation where we need to send some out to folks, we can do that. We also deliver to the congregate dining sites across Anderson County, and we are monitoring those situations. We want to be very consistent in the upstate and in, in our, our, our region and how we're doing things together. Um, we're one county, we want to plan together, we want to respond together, and we want to recover together. And I think that's why it was very important to get this group together today. All right, we want to actively encourage sick people to stay home. It's super simple, super easy. If you're not feeling good, if you feel like that, that you've got some of the symptoms that we're going to discuss in just a few moments, flu-like symptoms, um, you know, we certainly don't want you coming to work and sharing those things with work with, with your fellow employees. Um, I know it sounds like good common sense. You probably heard that message 200,000 times in the last couple of days, and you're probably going to hear it a bunch more. Anderson 5, uh, currently, one thing we've done is we've stopped all out-of-district field trips. Uh, that's really the first thing we've done. We're in constant contact with DHEC and the State Department of Education. They've asked all districts in the state to consult with them before any closure decisions are made. One thing we're doing and have, you know, we really have been doing for quite some time is uh, building upon our e-learning plan. Obviously, we were, the, we were the first district in the state to have e-learning, which was great for us. It really gives us a head start in a lot of ways uh, for this situation. We're already busy. We're already overcrowded. We have over 390 individuals in our facility, not counting staff. What we've done, we've stepped up our sanitation measures, making sure that uh, all the cleaning products are available to the, to the inmates within their cells. We've been in communication with the South Carolina Department of Corrections, and we're pretty much going to follow their lead, counseling, uh, visitation, and our volunteer programs. Be sure you're providing plenty of soap and water and alcohol-based alcohol hand rubs in the workplace. Ensure that adequate supplies are maintained. I know that's probably going to be a difficult thing right now because those things are flying off the shelf. So be sure that you're checking with your, with your providers and, and those that you uh, do business with and get these type of products that they have the ability to continue to supply. And if not, then you know, look for those alternative resources. So what I want to do right now, I want to talk about just real briefly some of the stuff that we've done from the county level, okay? We've, re we've reviewed both our county and state pandemic and infectious disease plans. These plans are right here. This is the county plan and this is the state plan. Now these plans were written for the purposes of handling situations um, and, and outbreaks such as this. A lot of time, energy, and efforts went into the making of these plans. South Carolina DHEX plan um, is, a, is an 87-page plan. I encourage you, if you would like to do so, go to their website and do it. I, I printed off and spent a good weekend reviewing and becoming extremely familiar with their updated plan. You know, we're, we're in constant communication with our DHEC officials. Um, conference calls with local and state officials, getting updates, stay, trying to stay current as to what's going on so that we can make good decisions for us here in Anderson County. 211 is an information line open to everyone in our community. On a normal basis, people call in to find out how they can get assistance for food, uh, for help with rent or mortgage, or help with their utility bill. During this time, as information is available from the DHEC and other organizations, our 211 line will have additional information regarding the situation with the virus that is currently at hand. There are many children that the food they get 
when they get to school for breakfast and lunch may be the only food that they have. We don't want any child to go hungry. So we'll be working with the school districts to do what we can. Of course, that costs additional money. Uh, every bag of food is $5. And we wanna make sure the public knows that if they can contribute to this, it is so appreciated. In the event that children are not going to school, regardless of what we think, there will be children who are dependent on breakfast and lunch at school who will go hungry. Um, we do not want that to happen. United Way stands with the county and other organizations to say, we want to be able to provide extra food for those children that may not have it because school is not in session due to the virus. So, if people would like to help us, every one of those bags costs $5. At 100% of the $5 goes for the food products. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that Anderson County is, is prepared, will respond appropriately, and that we will recover, recover as, as we should. It's very important also that, that we, being the leaders in this room, that we do this together, that we respond as one county, and we recover as one county, and we continue to prepare in that same manner.